cards on your engagement. Today on Moving Day, marriage is on the cards, but I find evidence of a blast from the past. I don't remember this card. <laughs> and I discover some impressive views at the new place. to moving day today we've come to the seaside how exciting we're in a village called port slade just down the road from brighton we're here to meet a couple who get married in two months but in four days time they'll be moving into their first joint home together let's do a race meet dean cook a graphic designer and his fiancee claire allen a financial advisor they're in love and due to marry in just eight weeks time since they met a year and a half ago dean sold his place and moved into hers along with his home office but now they're really in the swing of things as they're buying their first place together just down the road close to the sea Come into our yeah. spacious Hi. kitchen. Hi, oh, fabulous. <laughs> it's beautiful and gorgeous. Right. So tell me, you're getting married and moving house all in the same year. Yes, yeah. in two months. Yeah. Within two months. This is crazy timing, Mad. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It had to be. We were going to get married next year, but um, the church roof's been done for the first time in about 150 years. So we had to move it to this year. So we're doing it all at once. Now obviously, everything's been brought forward. Are you all packed up, ready to go and everything? Um, She's been very organised. She's like looks after all the pack and everything else, sort of like a month, two months ahead, even yeah. though we hadn't actually found somewhere at that time, but uh, she wanted to get the ball rolling on it, yeah. so... I wanted to feel like I was moving until I started seeing things in boxes that it didn't feel like I was moving. All right, well, I'm a bit of a guru when it comes to packing up boxes and stuff, so if you don't mind, I'll have a quick look around and see how ready you really are for the move. I'll leave you to gel with Sally. OK. Right, let's have a little look. Obvious things to come out of this room, a couple of big sofas, another one just over there as well, shouldn't be a problem. Nice neutral decor in here. As for the boxing, loads of stuff stacked up over there by the window already. Now this part of the building I happen to know is a little bit of an extension. Telltale signs, this joint along the ceiling, which has been hidden particularly poorly. But let's go and see what impact that's had on the outside. Now you might have got more room inside, but it has greatly reduced the size of the garden. Now a lot of the gardens in this part of the world are very, very highly sloped. Now they've got some terracing here, making good use of it. A little bit of a retaining wall just to put some flower beds in. Now, the decking is probably one of the only solutions they could have used here. One thing I have noticed, though, they've kept it away from the wall, the outside wall of the new extension. This should eradicate any damp problems in later life. But this really is a sun trap out here. It's fantastic. Go check out upstairs. Now, Luke, I want to talk about your living situation when you first met, because mm -hmm. you both owned separate properties at that point. Yes. And then you decided to move into Claire's house, which is this house. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why was that? What was wrong with your house, Dean? Well, it's, I think because we were both like working in Brighton at the time, because it, this place is closer to Brighton. So, you know, it's, it made sense for me to actually move here. But then, uh, sort of like late last year, I left my job and decided to work from home. But uh, working from here has uh, proved rather difficult. So it's sort of like another reason why we're having to move uh, to a larger house. <laughs> Now, Dean and Claire's room looks quite minimalist. Just a few things to go from there, a few knickknacks to pack up, and the bed, but that's got to stay there till moving day. Bathroom's fairly self-contained, and this must be the home office. Whoa! Huge desk, two computers, couple of modems, fax machine, disk drive, loads of box files, and probably the biggest printer I've ever seen in my life. That bad boy is huge. I hope that'll go down the stairs and it looks heavy. It's a job for Dean. I bought this house um, because there were two bedrooms. My previous flat only had one bedroom and I wanted friends to stay at the weekend. And um, so my precious second bedroom is now Dean's office and he's taken over the whole of the upstairs almost. It's just too much for a small house. So you're moving in a couple of days' time. What is worrying you at the moment? I mean, I, I sort of think we're going we're gonna to be out of here, we're going to be in there, and anything that happens in between we just deal with as we go along and try and take it lightheartedly, hopefully. But, um, but... You know, hopefully it would be quite simple, but these things never are, are they? I got Dean to show me the house by the sea that they've picked to be their first marital home. Oh, this is the place then, Dean? This is it. What exactly are you buying into here? Tell me about it. A very lovely property. That's what it is. You know, inside, it's absolutely gorgeous. So when did you last actually look inside yourself? That was probably about four weeks ago. It was actually look at all the furniture that they're offering to sell us. Um, 
you know, I think they're practically buying most of it because they're moving to America. Have you got a good deal with what you've bought? I even like to think we have. Obviously entertaining, that's a big part of it as well. You like to be out I love my barbecues. I yeah. love doing barbecues, especially during the summer months, and this is like the ideal garden to have the ideal barbecue. It looks like you've made some good inroads here with your packing already, Claire. Yeah, we've done quite a bit, but um, what I've been doing is just gradually, as I find things in the house, I've actually been putting things here, um, just a few more precious things which I'm leaving to the last minute because I'm not really sure how to pack some of them, really. What would you say are the most sort of precious items to you there? Um, well, I've got some, like, 1930s glassware here and those little plates are my grandmother's, so I just want to make sure they don't get broken, you know, obviously. What I would do with them is I put them up, I'd pack them individually in the tissue paper mm -hmm. and I would stack them vertically. That's oh. where I think we should do plan of action. Mm -hmm. It's a good idea to avoid stacking precious plates on top of one another as the combined weight can cause the plates at the bottom to crack. And make sure you have plenty of polystyrene chips to absorb any knocks and shocks. This is the life, Claire. I feel we deserve a spot of relaxation. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Here's to us. Yep. Cheers. Mm. Dean, once a Club 1830 holiday regular, wants to show me the joys a reformed party man can find living by the sea. So, um, how are you feeling about this getting, in, getting into the old married set? Looking forward to it. You know, it's this, uh, you know, just spending, you know, time with each other and just sort of like, you know, sharing a life with someone. Um, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly looking forward to the next uh, many, many years ahead. Tell me, how did you meet Dean? Um, somewhere where you're never meant to meet somebody, actually, which is um, a nightclub. <laughs> so... Oh, that sounds dreadful. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I was single after sort of like a seven year relationship. Um, and started going with a friend into uh, Worthing to a club there. And the club was a bit on the seedy side. So you know, what, you know the type of women they could be like, but uh, you also spot the ones who come in once in a blue moon, and Claire was one of them. I was there dancing with my friends, and he was too shy to come up, so he gave my friend a drink to give to me, and then just hovered for the rest of the evening. And she was like dancing with these two guys with shirts down their waist and everything. I thought, oh, I'll leave her to her husband and her friend to her husband, and they weren't their husbands either, at all, you know, so... Basically, when, when we were leaving, um, we saw him look through the glass door. My friend said, right, I'm going to go and get him, and... She got one of her friends to drag me out the toilet. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yes, very nice. Um, and, and things have just progressed from there, It yeah? certainly has, yeah. Basically, we just clicked, really. I, I can't remember exactly what we said, and then we just arranged to see each other again. So, um, just went from there, really, yeah. We just got on straight away. Now this is you really sort of taking the next leap of faith, buying yeah. a house together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And trying to sort of compromise, because, you know, all the stuff that's in your house obviously is going, but mm -hmm. what about all his other things? Um, well, Dean has got a garage full of stuff, and I think stuff is the word for it, actually. <laughs> Bloke stuff. This garage, is it near here, by any chance? Um, it's just down the road, actually. Well, look, what are we waiting for? I think we should sneak down there and have a look behind the garage doors. Let's go. This is it. <laughs> Which one is it? The blue one. The blue one. This is all Dean's stuff hidden away in here. It is. When did you last see his stuff? Um, about a year ago. Standing back. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, he's got masses of stuff. <laughs> the tortoise lake. Oh. <laughs> Is that the style that you might like? Um, perhaps in 1983 I might have liked it. <laughs> I think there's things living in it, don't you? This is starting to worry me, actually. <laughs> I mean, why has he got this wig in here? Think about it. Um, I haven't a clue. Oh, cards! Now, wait a minute! <laughs> On your engagement? That's nothing to do with me. Oh. I think they're from his previous relationship. Oh, good luck forever. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't quite happen, did it? If I were you, Dean, I would get rid of those pretty sharpish. You wouldn't want history to repeat itself, would you? Oh, it looks like Dean's discovered that Claire and I are rummaging through his former life. Incredible. Dean used to play champion bowling. <laughs> <laughs> you up here. here comes the man himself. Yeah. Look at this. Sunday doubles, league winners, lightning strikes. Lightning strikes. My team name. Or our team name. Good stuff. Now, look, I think we yeah. need to talk because we've had a quick rifle through things. Um, I've seen a few things in there like um, a life before this one with maybe another lady. You were engaged to? Uh, was I, did I? Was I? Uh, yeah, yes. yes. You, you um, kept the cards that I think if you're moving into a oh, new marital home, yeah, maybe this they've is got time, to go. 
They've got they've to go. They've got to go. Unless they're very precious to you, you want yes. to keep no, them hidden got from Claire. To go. <laughs> I feel this is almost like a sort of marital <laughs> therapy session. Okay, so you might have to look through that box and get rid of some of the yes. old stuff that you don't mm. want. Unlucky today, Sally, it's my turn to do the shopping and I'm here to get something exciting for Dean and Claire as a new housewarming gift. Something a bit flash, something for the garden, something to cook on. Have you seen the barbecues anywhere? This little fella here looks just the job. It looks quite tiny at the moment, but I happen to know if you just step on the pedal there, it all raises up, but I think that will make a lovely housewarming gift. What do you reckon? With the housewarming present packed up, I want to find out how Sal has been getting on. What do you reckon? Good move or bad move? I think this is a great move for the couple. It's going to be their first marital home together. They're buying it. It's terrific. Slightly concerned. Dean needs to do a bit more decluttering before the big day. Like what? Well, I found a few things in that garage, a wig, some trophies, and you don't want to know the rest. Dino? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Very much like that. But it's going to be great. I'm really excited for them. OK, it's the morning of Dean and Claire's moving day. The vans are already here and we're busy down in Portslade near Brighton. So I'd better start lugging things. And I've started moving day morning over at Dean's mate's garage. Now, Dean has got loads of stuff stored in there. But the big question is, what exactly is going to make it to the marital home? There you are. Morning, Claire. I'm, How are you doing? I'm not too bad. I'm a bit hot and sweaty and stressed. But apart from that, I'm OK, I think. Move day, one of the most stressful days in your life, apart from getting married. But hey, you've got that in two months as well. <laughs> so you're really a glutton for punishment this, is a piece this year. Of cake, actually. Now, I've warned Dean about getting rid of old engagement cards from a previous relationship. And what do I discover? Him stashing some away in the van. I thought we talked about getting rid of these. Look, Look they this think is the this. wrong woman inside <laughs> this. Look, this is not Claire. This is not Claire. That. <gasps> With the garage packed away, it's back to the house and the removal lads are picking up the pace. But just down the road are the new owners of Dean and Claire's place. Now, two doors down from Claire and Dean's house, all hell is breaking loose because this is Gaynor's house. Gaynor is a work colleague, friend and neighbour of Claire's and she's bought Claire's house and she's moving from here to there today. Got it? Gainer. Hi. Good morning. Good How morning. are you? I'm fine. A little bit stressed, but excited about moving in the new moving place. Day is always a stressful thing. So Gainer, tell me, why are you moving two doors down the road? Well, it's got a wonderful extension. Um, I inquired about prices to have an extension done here myself, and it was going to cost around £20,000. But I'm only paying £10,000 more for it, so it's a bargain. And how exactly are you moving all your stuff? Oh, we're moving things practically over the fence at the back, passing it on, and then the major stuff will just sort of be taken down the hill. But Gaynor's partner, Richie, is already stockpiling gear in the garden. Isn't it a big effort for such a short move? Oi, what's going on here, then? Can't move in. Dean and Claire haven't moved out yet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what's all this lot? Well, we're moving stuff. From Gainers, going this way because you thought it was easier rather than, than bringing it all the way round. But uh, they haven't even got their stuff out yet. I mean, this is a, this is a bit of a liberty take or not? Well, no, I think as, uh, as Gainer and, and Claire are really good friends, I think it's uh, a community spirit. Everyone's pulling together to get the packing done, but Dean's keeping a bit of a secret. We've got to go up in the attic yet. There's, a, there's an awful lot of stuff up there. Do remember that most removal companies don't do lofts. It's your responsibility to get it all down. That means you, Dean. I think this is a moving day record for the most full van. <laughs> is there more stuff than you expected? Yes, there is. A lot more. Would well, you reckon that's that, all that loft stuff, Dean, or not? I think I might have underestimated. Right, it's about time you did some cleaning on moving day, and you're going to do it in style. This is a dust-off. In the purple <laughs> corner, weighing in at 90 kilos, we have Gavin, dust destroyer low. In the white <laughs> corner, we have Sally, suction grey. She's going for the clean sweep. Start your engine. On your marks. Yes. Get set. Let's go. <laughs> Five 
finally, it's all done and dusted. Just time to say goodbye. Well, is that it? It's all finished. So. Yeah. Clear it's, up, Sarah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All clean and clear, and can't wait to go now, can we? Okay, let's get on to the next house, shall we? Yeah. Come on then. Let's go. Dean and Claire sold their two-bed house for £174,000 and for their Victorian terrace in Shoreham-by-the-Sea, they paid £275,000. This is stunning! Oh, really, I think. <laughs> I know, it's really sweet. I mean, this is the perfect home for you two to start your married life in. This is just fabulous. What a yeah. great family sized kitchen, isn't yeah. it? And you've got two doors out of the garden. Yeah. I love it. This is going to be our bedroom. Oh, what a feature. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, I'm so jealous of yeah. this. You have no idea. Absolutely stunning. As the previous owners are moving abroad, Claire and Dean have managed to get this arts and crafts dressing table for just £60, a Georgian wardrobe for only £150, as well as some pretty fancy fish for £100. Oh, this is fantastic. Where do you start? This is like a little courtyard, start? isn't it? It's gorgeous. And nothing leads doing. Everything's neat and tidy. It's all well planted in that lot. Just one thing. <laughs> Yeah, go on then. Got some ivy around the side of the house, which actually probably needs removing. Ah, I see what you mean, mate. There is loads up there. Yeah, we've got that lot's got to come down, and we've got fear that it's going to get into the brickwork, and the tiles, and everything else in the roof. So notoriously bad for damaging your walls and your roof, yeah. ivy, because it can get under there. Roof tiles, lift them up. Wall can get in. Rodents can get in. To get rid of it, it's not a problem. We can chop it all down, put some killer on it, and the big thick roots we can all pull off. But the other stuff, it'll take a little bit of time to die, probably about two months, and you can rip it off and it comes off like a webbing. OK. So, um, yeah, I can sort that out for you. You can do? Yeah. Brilliant. And if you look down the bottom here, you can see how much water it's actually holding. And all that water there would have gone straight into your walls, weakened the joints, especially the mortar joints, and uh, probably made it start to crack up. Fall to bits. Timber! While I'm pulling plants down, the removal boys are pulling them out. And Dave the gas man has arrived. I've asked him to pop by as the building survey on the property flagged up some possible problems with the boiler. Dave! Hi. 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 We've had a chance to check over the boiler. What is the update? How well, the things? update is we found very high levels of CO coming from the boiler, which means the boiler would, is in need of a good service. Um, also, while we was here, we noticed that there was a gas leak from the boiler, um, which now I'm disconnecting the boiler. So Are you? You're... So it's quite serious? It is very serious, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, serious enough to cut it off. This is uh, not good news for the people who've just it's moved It's not in good recently. news at all, no. Oh, look at you two in the love nook, having a happy <laughs> moment. I'm sorry, I'm the bearer of some bad news. Oh. What's happening? About your boiler. You oh, knew right. it wasn't great. Yeah, mm. we knew it wasn't great. It's been condemned completely. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. It's bad news. You have to oh, shut God. the whole thing off. Really? Yeah. Completely oh. unusable. It's a danger, hazard. Oh, what's this? Hello, Gabrielle. Dean's got a call from Gabrielle, who works for the telephone company. There's a problem with connecting them. Serious news for a man running a business from home. We phoned two weeks ago, got a letter in writing said they will definitely be there as late this as possible. Afternoon. Had specific instructions to make it one of the last calls. So it's basically not going to happen, you're not going to be sick? Yeah. Yes. More bad news. Mm -hmm. OK, bye. What a shame. Mm -hmm. So here's me in the middle of telling you the bad news about the condemned boiler, then you find out you've got no phones mm -hmm. and you can't work. But the good news is you've got yourselves an absolutely cracking house. Mm -hmm. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> While I finish off the ivy, the removal boys get the last few things out of the van. One of the bedrooms is filled with Dean's boxes. Let's hope there's no more mementos of ex-girlfriends in there. The bad news is the gas man had to turn the supply off and the phone company didn't turn up. But on the plus side, at least the living room is looking presentable. Still, I think a little housewarming gift might cheer them up. 
Oh, All you need now is something to help you with your entertainment. Oh, my God. Come oh, round, a come round. Right. patio heater oh, just for you it. to keep you thank warm you so during much. the summer months. That's oh, thank fantastic. You. It's on the house. Oh, wait till you see what's under here. You're going to love this. It is a yeah. <laughs> barbecue. And wait till you see this. Well, that's it from today's moving day on the fantastic South Coast. Now, if you're about to move house, then good luck to you. And why not check out our website? It's itv.com slash moving day for a few handy hints. So from Claire, Dean, Sally and myself, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. See you Bye. soon. Bye. Since moving day, Dean and Claire have been partying hard in the garden most weekends. But the wedding's in just two weeks' time and they still haven't got a working boiler.